Hello everybody and welcome to another MX Bikes video and today guys we are going to be reviewing two tracks that actually come as a bundle um, on MXB shop link will be in the description not sure why they did this but the track creator put it up as a buy one get one free which I mean I think would is like the exact same as if you just put them all together but I think honestly as a marketing strategy it's pretty freaking genius dude a lot of people are gonna fall are gonna fall to that strategy but let me tell you something right now it's worth the price dude all right it is worth the price when i first got on this map right here this is just one of the maps um out of the two i thought there was just like one track maybe a little sand track off to the side there is more than one all right there is more than one we're gonna show you that in a second here but before i do that hit that sub button hit that like button and uh stick to the end of the video guys we're on the road to twenty thousand subaroos um so yeah we said 16k thank you very much but let's talk about this real quick now i forgot the name of this one no namers collective i honestly forgot the name of this track fat muppets chilling back there but um yeah this track's pretty cool as you guys can see it is raining which is something we do not see a lot um there is no rain traction though the ground is just reflective so i guess it's just giving off the sense that it's raining at least i think i mean the track feels pretty pretty dry i'm not wheel spinning too much here but this right here is like more of an amateur track. You can see I turned my Erode up to 5. Um, and the description says the Erode at like 1.4 is the good spot to put it. That's probably for like a race. Because I did laps on that and I was seeing absolutely nothing going on. But uh, anyway. Ooh. Yeah, just a very basic track. This is nothing crazy. Um, yeah, just like if you're a beginner, I think both of these tracks are going to help you out a lot. There's not like crazy big jumps or anything like that. But... If we go this way, we're going to go to this first. I'm not sure if there's gates to this. There might be. I'd be surprised if there isn't. I honestly have no idea. But this right here is a little bit of a sand track that we got here. Now, this is like, when I designed my first track, this is the style I'm probably going to be going for. Something that's tight, something that's sandy. Um, got a lot of ruts. This one doesn't really have too much ruts or roughness. I would like to see some trees around it too. I think that would make it a little bit more sick. But I can see the style he's going for. A bit of like a free ride strategy or just like a, a sand track type of build. I think it's really, really cool. I love these style of tracks. I think it's honestly my favorite style of tracks are these right here. A um, bit more realistic. It's kind of like you just stumbled upon like four-wheeler tracks or whatever and you start riding on a dirt bike or you can see the freaking whatever the hell those things are called side-by-sides. But um I don't know, these tracks are fun to rip. I think they help out a lot if you're trying to learn corner. Oh my god, that rut was hidden. I did not even see that thing. Um, yeah, I think these tracks will help you guys out a lot if, you, again, if you're learning the game. And ooh, you don't really have to worry about jumping or anything. Can we go inside this shed right here? I don't think so. Pretty cool model, but, but yeah, these tracks will help you out. Learn turning, you know, learn just keeping the bike straight, keeping the throttle control and uh can we get the revs up ladies and gentlemen doesn't look like it freaking yamaha activities bro i do not understand this yamaha outdoors i've been trying to understand it this is so much fun dude get on here with some friends just ripping this track it's freaking sounds sick dude this tells you the true fastest dude is right here who can rip around this thing I'm honestly not too good at it yet, but hey, I'm probably going to put a lot of laps into this. I wish I could do another lap to the high E-road, but we're going to move on to the other track once we finish. It's a pretty long lap time. Same with the third track on this map. It is a fairly long lap time as well. But we go all the way over here. And it kind of starts to fade a little bit. I think you go this way or do you honestly I have no idea I think you just go this way yeah and then you come back and then you'll do the whole thing over again so that thing is pretty fun again you need to turn your ear out up you want to have fun on that though I think that is a must then we have this track which is another wide open track I'm in fourth gear. This one's freaking sick. This is probably the best track on this map. But bro, I didn't even know it existed, dude. Like I pulled up the map 
and um, I was just riding on that other track. And then I discovered the sand one. I was like, oh, this is sick. And I look over and there's just a whole nother track. I'm like, what the heck is going on right now? But Let's see if we can put some absolute heaters down here. <laughs> there is gates on this track. I know that for a fact. I'm not sure if there is on the first one we went on. I'm guessing there probably is. I don't know if this is a send or not. Oh, it's a huge send. Oh my god, greased it. Fly off of this. That was not the line. Still gonna survive though. Fat Muppet. There he is again. Now I'm pretty sure Slabs made these. You can see the Earthworks logo. Um, Slab710, I think, is his name. Uh, great track creator. Absolute W. I don't know if these are his first tracks or not. I honestly can't remember from what I read, but. This is good, dude. These tracks like these can grow the game. And if you're a newer player thinking about getting some tracks, you guys can actually run laps on. It's a good one to get back there is the start. I'm going to finish my lap here. I can go back there and show you. Let's do another lap on the E road. See if I can throw an absolute burn piece because we do have timing gates, it looks like. Is Troy good on the stock tracks? We know he is. Let's see if we're an absolute burn piece here. That's a stretch on the two smoker. The 250, I mean. I wish I was on a two smoker right now. Oh my god, the ruts are too deep. Holy crap. Yeah, maybe stick to 1.4, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I'm on five euros a lot. Oh, OJ, that to the moon. Still gonna make the corner. Inside a line. Nice. You need to remember to scrub this super far inside. Nice. This is like a fat Muppet track. That's what it reminds me of. So I'm not sure if he helped with it or, or what, but... It's pretty sick, dude. I don't even know where the finish line is. Where do you hit the finish line, brother? Well, we're gonna find it soon. Oh my goodness. OJ. Love to see it. Okay, I think this is tabletop. All right, 142, new world record. It's just too easy, bro. <laughs> nah, I highly doubt it's a new record. I'm gonna show you guys the gates, though. The start's actually pretty cool on this track. Pretty genius idea here. I think this is how every track should start, to be honest. Look at this thing, bro. Super cool gates, they're covered. From the rain. I'm not sure if this is a real track. It looks like a replica. I'm not sure if it actually is or not. But maybe it's completely not. But yeah. I think this is pretty cool. And uh, let's go to the other track. Alright guys. This is the second, I guess, different track that comes with the bundle. You can either buy this one or the other one. But either way, you're going to still have access to the other one. This is a sand track. Obviously, very reminiscent of JV. I cannot help but bring that up. Um... I think it's just the texture that makes me think that. I don't really think he even helped with this project, but as you can see here, it is sand traction, all right? It is a sand track. And again, it is very beginner friendly, right? Very wide, very easy. Not a lot of huge jumps or bumps, um, you know, stuff to rail. But it's freaking pretty beautiful, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's a pretty beautiful area, beautiful track. And again, something that beginners can learn on, man. I think that's something this game needs right now more than any time ever. Um, with obviously not a lot of free tracks coming out. But yeah, I think this is worth it, man. I will say both of these tracks got my PC kind of working hard, bro. And I'm not going to lie. I'll play GV, JV's tracks and my PC's chilling. So as far as optimization, I'm going to have to give him like a C on it, dude. I'm just going to be honest. All right. 
I don't know how track optimization works at all. All I know is there's some tracks I open and my PC wants to explode and other tracks it don't want to explode. So I don't I don't really know why that is. But just my experience, you can just rail this wall, bro. It's pretty freaking sick. So we have this Yami absolutely pinned. We're gonna take the inside line here. It's got a bit of roughness on it though. It's not a great line. Huh. Easy. Dude, I'm absolutely stomping this track right now, dude. I look like goddamn Prime Jeffrey Hurlings out here. Let's see what lap time we can run. See if we can break the world record here. First attempt. <laughs> I mean, I'm absolutely pinned. Huh. Gotta use the berm. Damn, that berm is mid. Low key, low key. Why did that just happen? What is the why is the berm shaped like this? Just like squared off. I think I'm just I think I might be a little bit buns at the virtual video game here. We're gonna keep her going though. We're still on world record base, boys. Come on now, don't don't sleep on me. Now as far as E Road, I'm on about three E Road, I think. Two and a half. Honestly don't even remember. I right, we're it's fairly high. And I'm not seeing much E-Road, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not seeing it. Which is a bit interesting. Considering it's a sand track. Probably have to get on a lobby with people in it just to see how it E-Roads. Because I feel like that's like the most important part of a sand track. Go! Damn, this Yamaha is terrible, bro. It's like we have to sit in third gear here. Yep, square the turn off, nice. Absolutely rail this outside. Fourth gear. Ooh. All right, we're gonna have to go outside here. Ooh. Oh my God, absolutely railed and squared off. Holy crap. All right, we run a 57. I mean, I think that's, whew. I think we're smoothing at a 57, ladies and gentlemen. It might be a bit of a smooth. All right, let's actually try to run a heater though. Tell me what laps you guys are running in the comments. If you guys have ridden this track. I wanna know where I stack up, dude. Dude, I just, I gotta get on the Honda, bro. This Yamaha is garbanzo beans. It's got the power of like an 85cc right here. I feel like I'm on a super mini. Okay, we're absolutely schmoozing. Go, 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 third gear, go. Dude, not even in third gear. Fine, we'll get in second gear. Okay, second gear limits out instantly though. All right, we're moving. All right, 142. I don't know what's a quick lapse. Probably like mid 30s, to be honest. I don't know the lines, bro. <laughs> there aren't many lines, but yeah, pretty good track. Obviously, these are all for beginners, so if you are a skilled player, you probably won't have much fun here. But, anyways, pretty freaking fun. Good job, Slabs, and everyone that helped on this. You guys did a great job. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.